Jillian, to review, after our show, you went and did a test shoot, then you did a Playboy centerfold shoot, but Hef has to look it over to see if you're going to be in the magazine. Is that where we're at now? Right, and I did some of the small camera shoots and just in case it was accepted so it would be on the fast pace. I see. So. Oh, what does that mean? They want to get it in as quickly as possible if it is going to be in, just to... And what happened What, what happened yeah. when you went to the Playboy Mansion? Uh, did you have sex with Mr. Hefner? No, I did not. Your mom wants you to, you know. <laughs> no. Mom, are you That's against that? That's all part of it. Oh, I would prefer it be her decision, but if she's asking me... I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> would you have sex with Mr. Hefner? I'm married. You're married. Yeah. But if your daughter wants to have sex with Mr. Hefner, would you tell her it was a good idea? Be safe. <laughs> Be safe. Wow. Like a hell of a mom. Yeah. Hey, you know, uh, when Jelly was on, a big topic of discussion was her boyfriend, and we actually wanted her boyfriend to come with her on this trip, yeah. but he declined. And we were talking to Jillian in the green room. So what's up with you and your boyfriend? I bet they broke up already. Well, no, we haven't broken up, but right now it's kind of... <laughs> they're taking a hiatus? They're taking a hiatus? No, it's just very hard. He's eight, or he's 19, so I can understand that it's very hard for him, and he's still in school, and I'm going off and doing all this stuff. So mm -hmm. it's, it's hard for him. So right is, it, is it fair to say... Say you're going to take like a 70 year break? <laughs> <laughs> Only time can tell. You know, I know your boyfriend was upset, and I know your mom and everyone was upset with us when we said what's going to happen next because we pretty much can predict the life of a playmate. We've seen these things many times. Right. If you get it, you know, even even if you don't get in the magazine, just you going out to the mansion and being out in LA, and I, and I predict if she does get in the magazine, she, oh, will, move, it. it's she over. will move to LA, make love to many celebrity men. <laughs> And the boyfriend is just a thing of the past. A faint memo. Julian Bagwell. <laughs> so, her boyfriend's going to be dating the 200-pound chick who works at the deli in about two months. Saying, I used to date Julian Grace. Now, you told me it was never going to happen that you were going to break up, but we were right, weren't we? No, you're not right so far. It's just we need to talk more. Things. Well, Julian, you guys were together at my show in St. Louis, right? Weren't you with yeah, your boyfriend? We did. We went to party what? stand up. So what happened? It's done since then. What do you no. mean? What do you mean no. you have to talk things out? What kind of things do you need to talk out? <laughs> There's just more things that he needs to learn to deal with, you know. It's like you dating Shaq? No. Well, that may say something, Jillian. <laughs> He's never going to learn to deal. Yo, man, what's your boyfriend's name? I'll help him out. What does he need to deal with? To trust you when you're in L.A. for months at a time, being right. nude at the uh, Playboy Mansion? He's got to deal with you doing a movie with the G unit. He's got to deal with you traveling all over the country, meeting all kinds of people and having parties. Come on, Jillian, it's your birthday. Drink birthday. the party. He can't deal with he can't deal with the fact that you and Billy Crudup have uh, <laughs> joined forces together. Drink Bacardi like it's your birthday. Do Pilates like it's your birthday. Hey, what does he what? not want you to have sex on the set? What is he talking about? No, it's he not saying? that he doesn't want me to do it. He's just having a hard time. Did he get very jealous when you went off to L.A.? Not jealous, just. I don't know. What did he say to you? Like, he wasn't happy for you. It was just a lot of questions like, oh, where are you going? Where, you what kind of school is he going to? He's in college right now. Well, for what? He hasn't really decided. It's just his first year. He's got a lot of questions like, why is 50 Cent paging you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, Jillian, when you, when but it must have been weird. Like, did you have to call him like every day from Los Angeles when you were doing your playboy shoot? <laughs> I didn't call him every day. But was he calling him. during the shoot? No. 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 But well, did you have to call you him? Weren't you supposed to call him every day and you forgot? I didn't have to or anything. It was Hello, Julian. Video. You haven't called me in a whole day. <laughs> I was going to call you, but there's no phones in Carlos Beltran's cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's your birthday. He's going to call his girlfriend, and this will be going on in the background. Yo, Jillian! Where's my drink? Hey, Jillian, get off the phone, man. We're partying. Yo, Jillian, that better not be long distance, bitch. <laughs> Use it up my minutes, bitch. So, Jillian, you went out there. Where's my matcha? I saw some of your, uh... <laughs> Yo! Basically, I'm here to say that uh, Jillian has been accepted as a playmate. Oh! oh. It's your birthday. Drink Not Bacardi good. like it's your birthday. It's in the mustache. So, yeah. Oh, you did. That's great. You're crying. Yeah. Is she crying? I thought I wanted... Congratulations. Oh, my goodness. Yo, where's my slow gin fizz? Jillian, you all right? Talk to me. What's going on in your mind right You're now? You're in, Jillian. Tell me what's going on. Well, it's just like a dream come true. Right. This is something you wanted since wow. how old? How old? About 12. 12 years old. And uh, the tears are amazing because it really does mean a lot to you. I had no idea how much it meant to you. 
Wow, that's uh, nice. You want to call your boyfriend and tell him you're never going to see him again? <laughs> you want to tell your boyfriend and tell him? I think that's why she's crying. She realizes it is over. <laughs> Jillian, have you seen the pictures? Uh, have you seen the finished product yet? No, I've seen Polaroids. Like, they shoot the pictures into Tesla lighting. They do little Polaroids. So right. I've seen all the poses pretty much. Well, you're in. You're in. You did it. You're going to be in the cover no. in the pages of the magazine. So she's in, and uh, she's going to be the March playmate. So wow, March we're looking playmate. at Miss March. Miss March. You're Miss March. Yeah. We're looking at Miss Ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Dennis Ludicrous. <laughs> you know, I, it makes me want to sing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let me be the first to say it. Walk on <laughs> with your dreams. Hi, Bobby. Walk on with your dreams and Are you let all your dreams come true. Hi, Daddy. Walk on, walk on, walk <laughs> on to Mr. Hefner's bed. <laughs> to be a playmate. Yeah, you got George Clooney's large. It's going to hurt. I was going to say, there's a word for that song should be, you'll never walk the same again. <laughs> and you'll never walk the same again after you date Tracy McGrady. What celebrities did you meet at the Playboy Mansion? Well, at the mansion, I met John Lovitz. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello, Jillian. Mm, they didn't very roll out the A-team for you. How are you? Very nice. Did he? On a serious note, can we have a moment of silence for Jillian's boyfriend who just leaped off a bridge? In Missouri? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think your boyfriend would have preferred you didn't get him Playboy and you could just go back to having things the way they were? I would hope that he'd want me to be happy and realize that this is my dream, but I really don't know how he feels on that front. You were, you were up for a promotion at the 7-Eleven. <laughs> well, you know what? A lot... It's about to change in your life. I know that women who go into the uh, Playboy magazine become special. They Plus, have. there's the whole possibility of now becoming Playmate of the Year. Playmate yes. of the Year. The possibility of becoming Which... HIV positive. Oh, stop it, on me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of opportunities out there. The Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> I mean, when Shaq is giving you oral, it's pretty special. <laughs> what is it? Would I be on a line ask a Julian if she'd be um, willing to call her boyfriend and break the news to him now? He I actually mean... said that he didn't want to be called. <laughs> wow. He's having trouble with this. What a... What a... Killjoy. <laughs> you know, but seriously, I mean, really, the world can be your oyster. I've seen many of the girls go on to acting careers. Uh, Playboy is a stepping stone, a springboard, if you will, to... I I mean, know. The price is right. <laughs> well, yeah, and there's a possibility yeah. of a huge divorce settlement from John Lovitz. <laughs> that guy's got some dough. This is a spring day. This is a springboard to dating Sam Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, anticipate an acting career now? Well, I'm wanting to do, like, sitcoms. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Join the club. You want to do sitcoms. Huh? Hey, Artie, she's got a, a got chance. A look. Yeah, absolutely. And I, what happened, Robin? You got very moved. Well, I, I started crying when I saw her crying. I, I knew that we had helped her realize a dream, and it was just very touching. Yeah. You know we helped her get into porn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all kinds of things. They're gonna. Get it. You're crying. Oh, what are you? I'm crying again. <laughs> Actually, give that frame document back to Jillian. She's gonna need a lot of things to do coke off of. <laughs> a lot of lines in your future. Yeah, well, learning your lines means bluff. Oh now, God. what will happen to Jillian between now and then? Is there something she needs to do? Marty, what is going to happen to her between now and I'd then? I'd say sex with 80 rappers. Yes. <laughs> starters. And she might marry two of the Clippers. Okay. What well, will happen? I yes. still have to shoot the video. Oh. And then there's also the promotional pictures, Playmate review pictures. And then next week, I'm actually going to the Halloween party. So that's exciting. Look that's at amazing. you. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to bring your boyfriend or are you going to go alone? I'll be going alone. You're going to be going alone. She's going in her new yeah, car. Yeah, well, I bring sand to the beach, I think. Yeah. <laughs> she's, going, she's 
She's going in her new costume, John Lovitz's girlfriend. Yes. That party she's going to next week, Howard, that's yeah. the yeah. legendary Halloween party. I think it's a yeah. summer night's party. That's the one where it, there's no... you got to be like A-list to get in, and it's not, that's where celebrities go to meet the new Jillian. Yeah. Right. That's where that's where your new celebrity boyfriend is going to meet you. Her that, costume is really cute. What's her costume, Mom? She's a Girl Scout. A Girl Scout. A naughty Girl Scout. Naughty Girl Scout. Yeah. Perfect. Girl. John Lovitz is going to love it. That's I cool. love your naughty Girl Scout. <laughs> well, you know what? With any luck, and I'm going to tell you, this is my bit of advice to you. Don't go with Lovitz. Hold out for James Conn and Fred Dreyer. <laughs> Fred Dreyer. <laughs> Good luck dating Hunter S. Thompson. <laughs> now, are you going to keep your website, or is Playboy want you to get rid of that? JillianGrace.net. We still have the website, and ever since your show, it's been doing awesome. So right. we still have that. And I think we actually, that Playboy... I don't, I'm not sure on this, but I think they also get JillianGrace.com for. So right, we'll put together like a, a, you know, a Oh, cool. Website. And Jillian, listen, you're welcome to come back in a year, uh, you and your illegitimate mulatto baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> come on, it's your birthday. <laughs> Hardy, not everyone goes down that road. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> a lot, right. though. A lot go, though. That's right. You... I dated a few of them. Well, just from Hardy's stand-up performance, we've heard that he went very far down that road. Yeah, no, I, I'm very honest in my stand-up. Yes. <laughs> well, anyway... Uh... Yeah, let Uncle Hardy teach you. <laughs> this is tough love, Jillian, and I'm doing this for your mother because Catherine... she's got a lot of disappointment in her future. Oh. Right. Uh...